This is Shane, reporting for Green Left TV at the Protest Against Poverty Rally, organised by the Single Parents Action Group. The Gillard government says that changes to the Centrelink payments are about getting parents into work. But are these changes really about getting parents into work? Or is it about making the most disadvantaged pay for the shortfall of the budget deficit? You be the judge. And the Single Parent Action Group was formed to advocate for social justice for one of Australia's most disadvantaged groups. The group serves to give a voice to single parents across Australia to ensure that we are not entrenched into un an unbreakable cycle of poverty. I think it's a kick in the guts for most of them. Um, their stories are all different. Um, I've met a lot of them, people in the last six months in the north and the south of the state. And you get the, um, you get the picture that these people are doing it really tough. There was an article in The Australian on April 11 where the National Welfare Rights Network has said that parents will need to double their working hours to make up for the savage cuts which have been imposed on them, which I think is horrific. So Nor Norway taxes the revenue generated from mining at 78% and then they're banking all of that and putting it aside for social services for the future because they know that what they're mining isn't going to last forever. But in Australia what we're doing, they consider it a, like a third world approach, we're just mining it and selling it and you know we're not putting it away for the future, we're not investing it in our society, we're doing things like making Gina Reinhart the richest woman in Australia, in the world. <laughs> Um, I've had to drastically look at my budget um, and I'm not quite sure where else I can stretch it and what else I can cut out to make ends meet. There's parents that um, maybe not coming along today but are on our Facebook page who pay $300 a week in rent. Um, you know, out of your $539, I think it is a fortnight, that you get for New Start, how do they manage? I'm not sure. Well, there's absolutely no doubt that poverty and hardship have increased. And we're having reports from our member organisations at TASCOS that uh, we have uh, single parent families approaching charity organisations for assistance with basics like paying bills for the very first time in their lives. Mandy, you're a single parent? Yes. How are these cuts affecting you? These cuts are affecting my son and I in lots of different ways. We have no outside activities. Our debts are increasing, I was sort of just barely surviving before and I'm just getting further and further into debt. I think um, I'm one of the lucky ones, I actually work part time. If somebody that wasn't working, doing a budget on that kind of money, you cannot survive on it at all. We are barely surviving but we are one of the lucky ones. <laughs> The problems faced by people who are lower income people, be it New Start or be it single parents or whatever, in a system where those with money, those who have affluence, seem to be the ones who are always getting the increases, the tax cuts or whatever, with very little help for the poorer people. And there is all the evidence the government needs to reverse these mean-spirited cuts to single parents. Peter, the failure of the mining tax to raise enough revenue, is that a key driver of, uh, of these cuts? Oh look, I, I have no doubt it's the major driver of these cuts. Had they structured the tax the right way, there'd be plenty of money to pay for single parents, the people who most need it. So I've got no doubt that um, the miscalculation, if you like to put it diplomatically with the mining tax or, or, or caving into the big miners and their interests, uh, is why we're here today. Uh, listening from the Single Parents Action Group. She's a socialist and a member of Socialist Alliance, so big clap for Linda. <laughs> Let's face it, these rallies happening around the country, those of us who are single parents, we're not here because our income's been cut. We're here because we have dependents. We have children who we love so much that our chest hurts and we can't bear to see them suffer and we will do whatever we can to ensure that they have the basics of a decent life. In a decent place, children would not be consigned to poverty and this is something that the UN is also taking up with the Australian Government. Parents would not be put into such impossible situations. You can't work if there's no job. You can't work if you have to neglect your child to take the job. Where are the family friendly jobs? Over 60% of us were working before these changes. It's not about getting us back to work. It's because the mining billionaires put up a fight and said they didn't want to pay taxes on their super profits. 
It's been it's wrong because moving parents, single parents, from the parenting allowance to the New Start allowance is a bad piece of public policy, and it will not work. And it won't work for, for a number of reasons, but among them are these. First of all, the New Start allowance is so far below the poverty line, there isn't even, even enough in the New Start allowance for people to meet the basic dignified life they need to meet. There's certainly nowhere near enough for them to meet the significant extra costs of looking for a job. It also won't work because the strategy of moving people from a parenting allowance to a uh, New Start allowance, there's no evidence to suggest that that strategy will work. But it particularly won't work in Tasmania, where unfortunately at the moment we have the highest unemployment in Australia. So therefore, moving them onto a compulsory job-seeking regimen is not going to be something that's going to help them at all. How can I do this now? We should have our, we should have our own TV show because we are the biggest losers. I'm with Victoria. Victoria is a, uh, a, a child, a daughter of a single parent. Victoria, how have these changes affected you? They're, they're horrible. Not only I don't get to see my friends as much on the weekends, but I mean, it doesn't really matter to me because how much is hurting mum. She thinks that she can't provide for us anymore and it, it hurts to see her like that. I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me, but it's just how mum feels and it's just making me feel so bad about it. Well, we heard today uh, Marie Adams' story, which was utterly compelling. Uh, it's the story of a woman uh, through actually no choice of her own, ended up as a single mum uh, to four kids. And the past 11 years has been a huge battle for her. Uh, now she's uh, got certifications, uh, she's got some work, but the struggle uh, continues because how is she going to pay to get to work? Uh, what's going to happen to her uh, young family at home while she's at work? And this is a story that's been repeated right around the country. Uh, the Australian Council of Social Services tells us that uh, this decision by the government has uh, put about 100,000 Australian families into poverty. Now the effect on those families, the effect on the children in those families is going to be uh, devastating. How are these changes affecting single parents? I think these changes are having a horrific effect on single parents. I mean I can speak from personal experience. I was a single parent um, for over 20 years. And I was lucky enough to be on the full pension and I also got an education supplement. So I realised when my daughter was quite young that um, I didn't want to live a life of poverty with my daughter. And I was able to study because of, I was on a pension and I could get an education supplement. Um, and for, but for many years, you know, I was um, living more or less a hand-to-mouth existence. How far has the failure of the mining tax driven the cuts that we're seeing? I think it's had a huge impact. I mean, the government has realised they weren't getting, they weren't going to get the revenue that they were expecting from the mining tax. I think it was an awful back down of Gillard's government when they first came in and they didn't go ahead with the, the full implementation of the tax. So I think it's having a horrific effect. You're just forcing single parents and their children into poverty and denying them, you know, uh, a lovely childhood where they have a caring parent who can look after them most.